That's true. At this point, name yourself, girl. Please don't call yourself monster or monster creator, monster queen, anything with monster. Just no. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXXChic, and we are back with another reaction to Sweet Home Season 3, the final season. We're now on to episode three. Last episode, we got a lot of information dropped on us, but the highlights are that uh, we found out that the changeling, aka Sung Won, is actually the fiance of Lee Kyung. I didn't realize that, but that's who he was and that now he recognizes that his child is out there and he believes that she's the key to this new world that he wants to create of new monster humans. So he went to the stadium directly looking for her and we found out he found he found some way to mark her so he'd be able to figure out where she was. So they are both in the stadium, but currently she is hiding because she too went to the stadium because her mother said that's the only place that she knows. It looks like she was looking to turn people into monsters, but she's kind of been just taken in and swept up with all the humans and the fact that they've been kind to her so far. So at the moment she's hiding from her father, but she knows that there's a connection there. Outside of that, we we see that the mad scientist is talking with Tak and says he's got the serum that turns monster humans into like the evolved version that they are and he wants to give it to Tak. My guess is that it's a backup plan in case these monster humans aka Sang Wan decides he's no longer useful. So we'll see if that works out. And then we see Lee Kyung is on her way to the stadium as well. And then back on the other side of things, we see that Hyun Su was out for most of the episode because whatever he did to rescue Lee Kyung, it took a lot out of him. And at the last minute, he was managed to be woken up because he had to wake up because a bunch of monsters were heading to where they were because the old man he just he started to change into a monster and he decided to take matters into his own hands to stop that from happening it attracted a lot of monsters and we see at the last minute Hyunsu did wake up took out the monster but now he is choking out the soldier so that's how we ended things lots going on as I said ready to jump into the episode so let's do that but just before I do a reminder that if you'd like to be in the know when I drop these episodes you can go ahead hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be in the know all right that out of the way let's get into the episode right now Academy. So she wants to knock his ass out again? Yeah, I kind of forgot the monster side of him has this weird fetish with killing things. So why did you wake him up? At okay. Who's beyond Amy? Get off. Yeah, maybe get up though. You got a you got a abdominal wound. You don't want to be scraping that on the ground. Aw, he's carrying the dog tags. Mm. It's sad because I get the symbolism, but I'm like, who's he gonna give them to? Most of these people don't have family left. Just go, just keep moving, just keep moving. The way I would not stop till I saw daylight. <laughs> Although I think it's nighttime right now. Monsterization, I accept the truth and you'll see the truth. Accept and you shall see the truth, sorry. Wait, just move, keep going, why are you still here? Oh, gross. I mean, you okay? Can you do it? You know, it's one of those things I've always said, it's so crazy that like, you know this person's asking for mercy, but at the same time, that's kind of what makes it hard to do it. You know, like if they're trying to kill you, that's one thing. You carried him out, bro? You think, actually, no, let me take that back. I know why he did it. He lost everybody else. It's like that Denzel Washington me. He's like, I'm leaving here with something. <laughs> Food for my son, clearly. Oh yeah, they don't about the underground yet, but you think they want to leave though? Is it safer out there? I mean, I, I, don't, know, I don't even know. Cause I mean, the monster humans don't want to kill them yet. You know what I'm saying? At this point, they actually want to keep them alive. They go out there, most of those monsters are just monsters, so. Ah! <laughs> Miss? No one, thank you. No one beats this man's ass nearly enough. One more. He's probably gonna laugh though. He likes this. Sh he's crazy. Told you he'd smile. More. The balls too. I mean, the one you knew, but I guess he was never really him. Ever the scientist. That part's true. He's just telling the truth about this girl. Beat his ass a little more though. No? Okay. I can't stand him. 
He'd be, he be a personal pinata for me for at least a few weeks, just for fun. <laughs> Ma'am, do you realize? Okay. okay, so it's that's where she gets it from, his daughter. And I think that happened because whatever Hyun Soo did to him, or no, the body, the body was resisting. I think that's why he has to do that. What does she you better get rid of him soon. That face going to swell. Several times. Oh, he's proving it. Smart. Oh, did she say that? Oh, that's right. That's why. Okay. Okay. I'm not crazy. Okay. Yeah, you should see what his new face looks like so you don't mess that up in the future. <laughs> Look at him like, I told you I was telling you the truth. Literally in front of his eyes. Is it a normal baby? Wow, he don't even care about her. No, we can't have him have that ability. Oh, that's right, he's trapped in it. I forgot. That's why he hates this body. It's been keeping him trapped. I love it. <laughs> um, okay, I know why he's doing it. Let me stop. Don't have one. <laughs> Monster? It's so bad. So bad, Ikyung. Oh, look who's got a little crush. That's true. At this point, name yourself, girl. Please don't call yourself monster. Or monster creator. Monster queen. Anything with monster. Just no. Oh, revel in that one good thing. <laughs> she said, screw my husband. There's always a way. He already figured it out. I don't think that's the man she ever knew. Exactly. The man she thought she loved, been dead. The poor thing just wants to be wanted so bad. That's why I said it's the worst thing ever for them to meet at this point. Oh well, so much for that. Peace out, sis. Guess he schooled me and a girl. Sorry, Yi Kyung, that's kind of your fault. If you hadn't been so cold to her, she would actually be, you know, attempting to resist in some way. But I also, actually, I should take that back. Like, is he, um, you know? Yeah. Oh. Um. Uh, I, I don't know. You don't know. He's not wrong about that, but yeah, if you can get ears in there, that wouldn't hurt. If you can securely... Of course they leave right when he's about to radio. Of course they do. Of course they do! Well, where, where are you going there, buddy? Are you gonna go pray? Okay. I feel like that's, that's fair. I can't tell what happened to this guy. He looks like he was burned, but he could be also turning. I don't know. <laughs> Right? Can we talk to him? Which is... Really? Hmm. No, well, he didn't really want to live anymore. That wasn't on you, in fairness. Like, no, I guess I, I don't know. I keep forgetting that these are like supposed to be real life situations. Cause me, I'd be like, what did that dude say? Why would he say that? With such certainty. No, it's a no for me. The chrysalis. That's why he wanted to die. 
But here's the thing. I still don't understand what the crystal is because... Wait, no, wait. That's right. They don't attack the pods. Right. They don't attack the pods. That's why he said he'll be safe. But I'm trying to figure out, like, it looks like the pods sometimes make them human again, right? Like the old lady from last season, or the lady who came back, who was a womb. Clearly. Exactly, for once. Exactly. Have you not figured out she does not care? That part is very true. But the drugging him constantly is not going to work. Hyunsu comes back when he wants to. You need to let him work through that. Aw, uh, well, at least he went out the way he wanted. How hilarious would it be if he just like started moving like, damn it, it wasn't enough. <laughs> and now I'm in pain. <laughs> Sorry, morbid. <clears throat> I think he understood in the end. I don't think he would have been able to do it to you either, sis, to be fair. I don't think that's the right thing to apologize for. It's probably what's kept you from turning. But also, it's a good thing you did turn back because imagine if you'd been out in the middle of nowhere with this man and he turned. I don't know if he fought that hard, to be honest. I think once he realized it was happening, he gave up. But you did take matters into your own hands, so that much was you. I like that though. Better to remember him like that than dying screaming. That man ain't gonna leave you. <laughs> Exactly. So cute you thought those ropes would be enough. <laughs> Adorable. That man smashes monsters like pancakes. No, Hyunsu won't let him. Hyunsu is still in there. Leave her alone. This one's she's not wrong. Exactly. Let's be clear. Although you did say you were Chaeyeonsu. I don't think Hyunsu wants you to let... Okay. Can we bring her brother in already? Because I'm so over her. Need her to start following him instead. I love it, nigga. Eh? He's like, that wasn't part of the deal. I'm a princess. I could fly there if I wanted to. Also, you know how hard it is for me to carry a backpack with this wing? My arms are not normal. Though respectfully, alter Cha Hyunsu, keeping that wing out constantly is not smart. It's heavy, it's bulky. Just, just make it a little smaller. Uh, no. That was a joint effort. And she did all the hard work. Liar. Damn, it's all she ever wanted. And she's not gonna believe her mother either. That's the sad, that's the hard part. She believed Hyunsu, but she wouldn't believe her mom. You got to figure it out, sis. I don't know how, but you got to figure it out. I feel like she'll want her mom more though, because that's who she's known. All. One. Unless the one who turns. She's not doing well, guys. Is no one noticing this? Okay. It's interesting that whatever it is, like, you think her monsterization would heal her. So what's going on with her? That's the question. Aren't y'all embarrassed that you're monsters and you're still somebody's bitch? Couldn't be me. Is that all? Hmm. <laughs> Does he look like he's trustworthy with anything? Also, how would he not know that you're trailing them? How many vehicles are in this world right now? Okay. So loud. So loud. Was no longer. 
Yeah, I, I get it. It makes no sense. Hmm. I know. Everyone you love, or not love, anyone who you start to care about leaves, right? Poor kid. He's been through a lot. Bit of a shaky relationship here. We gonna talk about why? Are you still oh mying her? What's happening? You're kind of a terrifying woman. She's not sorry. Have you not picked that up yet? She's not sorry. She thinks she was justified. Exactly. She don't love you like that, sis. Mm. You know what brought her here? Tack telling her that he took out his own kid. She's like, dang, the one thing I had was the mommy thing. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to torture a woman like that, let her live. That's true. She was twisted, selfish, but not a coward. I'm sorry, sis. I know you wanted her to be something she's not, but she was never really your mama. She didn't want to be anybody but her own son's mom. And I get it now, like losing one kid's a lot. Too much for some. So she's just waiting to get eaten up by her baby, huh? Oh, she welded herself in. She might survive though, because if her son was in a cocoon, he might come out human. Where is he? Relax. He didn't run away. Hmm. Su won't let him. Exactly. If he didn't want to go with you, he would have left already. He can literally fly. No, he put the arm away. Thank God. She's like. Forget you, soldier boy. This one's cute. Hi. Yeah, good on ya. Detoxing. 그냥 해. 그냥 고생 말고. Alright, at this point, you might as well stay high. <laughs> You're no use to us detoxing. Hi, so come back. Okay. I was gonna say, typically they wean you off of drugs, but people have also gone cold turkey and survived. It's hard, but it's in my opinion the best way to fix a lot of mental fortitude. 질문 하나 해도 돼요? Yes. I am this handsome all the time. <laughs> Is that not pretty yeah. obvious? <laughs> oh, he's got terrible taste in women. Right? Like, I feel like in her case, just because of the situation, she needs, she should have kept a few leaves, you know? I don't know if she can slow herself down, but like one leaf a day. See if we can work with that. <laughs> you don't even know her, but okay. But she gonna eat it up. Wants to know how to use your powers once he takes over. A gift? Yeah, I'm gonna take over your body. What if she says she wants her mom? Or Hyansu, who you hate. It asked you very nicely to leave it the hell alone, girl. That is the worst man in the world to have control of monsters, by the way. You just gonna stand there and just watch these birds, huh? Yeah, see, I'm not doing that. This is why you need black friends. They would have been like, sis, it's time to go. We need to figure out what it is. We just need to go away from it. ASAP. No Rocky. Jesus, how did that even happen? This is bad. This is so bad. So bad that she showed him that. So, so, so bad that she showed him that for like everything and everyone, guys. Woo, all right. <clears throat> okay, well, that was episode three and we are getting the ball rolling with what I think we're gonna get into our main plot here. We now know the reason why Sangwon wants his daughter. It's not out of any form of paternal affection, but I pretty much figured that when he didn't even care about Lee Kyung, <laughs> seeing her, this woman who he supposedly loved, nothing. He was like, yeah, whatever. Just pushed her into early labor and left her to die. So yeah, once that happens, I'm like, I just don't think he's wanting to be a dad, you know? That and the way he spoke about her as well. He's never spoken about his child with like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm curious. I really want to get, it was always like, nah, perfect specimen, what I'm looking, like it was just very clear the child was a, a means to an end. And now we know what that end is. I forgot that last season that, um, the real owner of that body was fighting him. Like he's not able to get out 
of the body. It's keeping him in there. And this body is badly damaged thanks to Hyun Soo. Hence why he has to generate the weird, you know, phantom leg with his abilities, which I'm thinking is actually taking quite a bit of his energy because normally the monsterization heals everything up, but we saw it took him much longer for him to heal his back, heal his body. And as I said, like he's having to compensate for the places that are, are clearly not healing fully. So my guess is that as it, as he is in his current state, he would lose to Hyun Su. Like he lost to Hyun, sorry, Hyun Su lost last season because he didn't know how to fight, right? He had the body, but when he's in the body, he can't control it. But the monster side of Hyun Su, I think would have wiped the floor with him and, and could now if he stays in control. So I said last episode that I think that Hyun Su needs to get to a partnership with the monster side, but we'll get to that in a second. But anyhow, we now know that this is why Sang Won wants, he's like, I wanna jump out of this body and I want her body. And now that he, again, he doesn't fully understand all that she can do. Like obviously this is first demonstration, but at this point, I don't think he realizes that she can turn people as a mom. But the point is, we already know Sang Won thinks that Neo-Humans is the way of the future. He wants everyone to be a Neo-Human. And right now, the only reason that the scientist is still alive is because he thinks the scientist has something to do with it. If he finds out that that little girl can do it and he wants to get into that body, actually, it's not true. He does need the scientist because he's like, he thinks the scientist will figure out how to help him get out of the body because he still can't do that. So yeah, the scientist is there to help him body jump. And then when he does that, he wants to jump into her body. And like I said, someone like him, if he can turn monsters on his own, what's he gonna do? He's gonna turn every human he sees into a monster. He wants a world of monsters where he's the king. So, well, it'll be the queen when he jumps into that body, I guess. But anyway, so now we know the situation. And as I said, it's very sad. I feel badly for the girl. Um, we need to give her a name. I was so glad that the little boy said to her, like, you need to at least give yourself a name. It's so sad though when she said it, like I don't have, first of all, she's like, what is the name? And then she's like, no, I've never been called anything by my mom. And I'm like, oh, oh, Lee Kyung, like that at the very minimum, you should have named that baby. But I know why she didn't, right? It was all about the emotional distancing, her putting cognitive of dissonance between being the mother of this child and the fact that this child was a monster, but oh, it's so sad, right? Like at the very least, that's a basic thing that almost everyone does for their baby, usually within the first few hours, but typically even before the baby is born these days, you know what you're gonna call them. But anyway, it's just sad to see how deprived this little girl has been of so many things that are just basic human decency things. And again, I'm not coming down too hard on Yi Kyung. I talked a lot about it in the last episode or in the first episode, particularly about how I understand why it was very difficult for her and that she really has not had enough time to process all of this in a way that's been healthy. But anyhow, so yeah, she's eating it up. The little girl is eating it up because right now her dad is saying everything she's ever wanted to hear. She has a family member that's embracing her, telling her she's beautiful as she is, not scared of her, not telling her, you know, what to do, how to do, always making her feel bad for leaning into her natural inclinations, you know, trying to understand her. Like these are all things Lee Kyung never did and never tried to do. And of course, now that her dad's giving it to her, it's giving her what she believes she's always wanted, right? Now I say what she believes is because I'm noticing that the only time we saw her smile a little was when her dad embraced her and said, I'll take care of you now, I'll stay with you now, right? Because this poor little girl's already got abandonment issues, right? Her mom left her at birth and then she left her again. So it's very much giving that, you know, she's she just wants someone that's gonna be hers and who's gonna be there for her and take care of her the way that every child would want, right? And that's the part Lee Kyung always struggle with is that her child is a monster, but she's also human. All these, all these monsters were human ones. All their emotions and feelings are still there underneath all the, the craziness of the monsterization. So anyways, Lee Kyung just didn't realize that at the heart of it, her daughter just wants to be loved and accepted like everybody else on the planet. And so that part was kind of the only sign of warmth we saw her give towards her dad. But I do think she's still very leery of him. I think her gut is telling her that there's something off and there is, right? He's got ulterior motives. This isn't coming from a pure place. It's not coming from a place of genuinely wanting to get to know her. And thus far from what we've seen, he's not asking her questions about her. Like, what do you like? What are your interest like what do you want to it's all like oh you do whatever you want uh and about about your powers tell me about you know what i'm saying like she's young but i she's always been very perceptive right we saw that last season that she picked up on what e kyung's true mindset and thoughts were very quickly so i think she's doing that with her dad right now she's assessing him and there's a big part of her that wants to believe that he really is what he's presenting himself to be. But I do think that her perceptive abilities are letting her know mm, there's more, there's something else there. I, there's something not quite right with all of this, but she does 
doesn't know what it is yet. So of course she's gonna ride along with this for now because she's constantly learning. We gotta remember this girl, remember what did the scientists say that she's barely a year old at this point technically. So even though her physical body is much older than that, mentally she is still very much a child in, in many, many ways. So she's learning as well as, you know, spending this time with him. And so I think it'll be interesting to see how if she bonds with him at all and if she wants to bond, because if anything, she's connected the most with the little boy, right? Like they were already kind of forming a bond and we know why that poor little guy, like I said last episode, I think he sees his big sister in her and it's just that sense of family he's been dying for, but also scared to have again after losing so much. And the fact that she left again, I felt so bad for him because he's like, why does everybody I start to care about leave? <laughs> Even though he's desperately trying to fight off that poor Ajuma who's trying to take care of him. But again, I know it's a protection mechanism because he's scared of losing anyone else. But anyhow, so I want to see how that goes. I want to see how her and Sangwon go going forward. You know, he he's so slimy that I feel like anyone with any level of gut instinct would know that that guy is definitely up to something. But she's young. And as I said, he's giving her the pass for all the things that she's been told her whole life are bad and evil. So we'll see. We'll see if she leans into it or if there's a part of her that's going to be a little bit weary of him. And then we see that thankfully Lee Kyung found out the truth. She found out from the doctor. I'm so glad she whipped his ass. I wish she'd done more. And anyways, he told her the truth. And again, thankfully he did the exercise in the clinic of making sure he asked him about Lee Kyung in the past to prove to her that he was telling the truth about her body, her husband's ability to body jump. And so now she knows what face he's got and she understands it and obviously it was hurtful for her to hear but we see that you know the scientist is like well you're not gonna be able to take him out are you like that's your husband and she was like no my man died as far as I'm concerned the man that I thought I knew he's gone and like I said last episode, I don't think she ever really knew him because last season they showed us that he was studying all about this curse and everything long before it became public knowledge. And last season or first season, I should say, I, I kind of thought that that was associated to him studying it for the sake of understanding it. But I actually think he might have actually kicked this whole thing off now. I'm actually thinking he's patient zero and he somehow kicked this whole thing off because he wanted to like evolve into what he thought would be a supreme being. Cause like, you don't just go from being like a normal, cool person to being a psychotic narcissist who wants to become a, the ultimate monster and destroy humanity, right? Like that just doesn't, that's not a jump people make, right? <laughs> not grad, but not quickly, right? So I have a feeling, unfortunately, that poor Lee Kyung really never knew who she was with. He gave her a certain version of himself and that's who she thought she knew. But the real Sang Won was actually pretty craven and narcissistic and sadly depraved enough to do something like this. But anyhow, I'm sure we're gonna get more of his story. I shouldn't say I'm sure. I hope we get more of how this whole thing started, but my guess is that he kicked this off. But anyhow, Lee Kwan, sorry, Lee Kyung does know what's going on. She's following them. She's smart. Thankfully, she took the doctor's advice when he told her like, you know, he's not alone. You can't, well, you're never gonna be able to go, go to, head to head with him as he is. So don't be rash. So smartly, she's just following and seeing like now that she knows what his plan is, she knows she can't just run up on her daughter either because their last interaction was not exactly kind, shall we say. So she's just observing for now. And I think she's got to figure out either the best time and way to approach her daughter and try to talk to her. And again, I hope she tries to talk to her and not just grab her by the arm like she has her whole life and just try to drag her away because that ain't going to that ain't gonna work again. I also think she might be scared to talk touch her again after being turned once. But actually that's gonna throw her daughter off. The fact that the last time her daughter saw her, she knows she turned her and if she sees her fully human again, she's gonna wonder what the hell happened. So that's something that, to think about. But anyway, I do think, as I said, that Lee Kyung is watching and waiting and she's gonna have to figure out a way to hopefully get through to her daughter. And as I said, I do think there's a chance that her daughter is gonna look more to Lee Kyung for approval than her father. Like as much as her dad is giving her everything that she wants, I think she can sense at her most primal level that it's not genuine. Whereas with her mom, like if there's one thing about Lee Kyung, Lee Kyung's never been fake right? She's always given her honest feelings. And I think that she'll know from, from mom's coming for her now. And she feels that genuine maternal love. I think it'll be enough to sway her. That and Cha and Su, right? Because Chan Su is her, basically her, her parent for the first year of her life. So we'll see what happens anyways. I do think it's going to get dicey for a minute, but it'll still be good. So I look forward to it. Uh, next, uh, outside of that, we see with Hyun Su and um, Inyu and the soldier and the crazy girl that, yeah, Hyun Su... Like it's, well, the other Hyun Su took over and we see that um, Eunyu decided to drug him because she's like, I don't know how else to like put him down because she thought that um, Hyun Su would come back when she woke him up, but it's the other one. And so we hear that the soldier 
rightfully asks her, like, what are you doing? Like, this is not going to be sustainable. And she's like, I don't know. I didn't think that through. But I mean, I'm, I'm okay with it. Like I said, drugging him, I'm like, be careful. But at the same time, in fairness, there wasn't much else she could do in the moment that wouldn't have gotten the soldier killed. So anyways, he's like, what's the plan here? And she's like, look, I'm not giving up on Hyun Soo. I don't think he's fully monsterized. I think he's still in there. And that's why I don't want to just leave him to the monster. And so she's like, I owe him. I owe him my life. And she's absolutely right about that. Hyun Soo saved her life and everybody in that apartment building multiple times, thanklessly, for the most part. So I understand her reasoning for wanting to stick around. But as I said, I just don't, mm, I need her to chill out as a character. I really, really do. But anyhow, so that's the plan. She tried to bind it, but I thought that was funny. Like I saw the ropes. I'm like, if you really think that's going to keep a monster who just squashed another monster, like a bug down, that's cute. And I do like that he broke out of it. Like, what was this? Like, like, you think you guys are just going to be able to like lead me around like a dog? Like what's going on? And so anyway, he and Hyun and Eunyu have a conversation and like Eunyu has figured out that he can't kill her. Like he, even when he was like waving wildly at her, when he was unconscious, it still never was like close enough to really hurt her, hurt her. It was like more to like knock her out. So I think that Eunyu has figured out, like she told him, I don't think you can take me out. I think that Hyun Soo is in enough control that he doesn't let you hurt me, like really hurt me. And so, yeah, he's kind of like acknowledged it without acknowledging that she is kind of untouchable. But then she basically said, look, just come with me, like follow me where I'm going and just see where this all pans out, like do it for me. And obviously the evil Hyunsu, I don't even call him evil, but hard, the monster Hyunsu, he didn't want to go, but he knew that the real Hyunsu is really the one that's got the strong emotional compulsion. So he's going to follow her anywhere. So he's agreed. He said, look, we have three days. He's like, three times I've woken up and you've been there. I'm gonna give you three days to see whether or not the other Hun Su can wake up. I'm gonna do everything I can to keep him asleep. And if you can pull him out, I'll back off, right? So she said challenge accepted. But my whole thing is that, as I said, I don't think we need to, we can't lose monster Hyun Su. Like we need him right now. While those, those Neo humans are still alive and in control, we need monster Hyun Su bad. But we need to have like the good Hyun Su or the real Hyunsu in there to keep it from going too far. That's the main thing. So I'm hoping, like I said, we need to get that one eye, that one blue, one brown eye situation going on by the time we get to the stadium and get that marriage of the two of them. And again, we need the marriage and also for him to turn the monsterization around. So yeah, that's why I don't want it to be fully gone. And I don't think he'll ever be fully gone, but you get my point. I think he'll let Hyunsu be in control going forward. But I want it to be a partnership. I don't want it to just give up. So we'll have to see what happens with that. And then outside of that, yeah, um, crazy girls detoxing, which is good, but yeah, a little inopportune at the moment, but we'll have to see how she goes with that. I do think her and the soldier are gonna end up together though, because when she sobers up, I think she's gonna act normal and that's probably what's gonna make him like her since it's not gonna happen with Unyu. And also we find out that Hyunsu likes Unyu, but I think we all knew that already. So we'll see how that goes going forward. But yeah, decent episode. We're moving the plot along. Again, everything is gonna point to, we have to stop Sangwon at all costs. We need to figure out what's going on with monsterization. And again, what Hyunsu can do, is it gonna affect the, the girl? right? Because she was born this way. So is this just going to work on those who turned? I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with Hyun Su's ability and like whether or not it's something that's going to become a universal cure or if it's just something that's going to be done to the people who wanted her, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, good episode. I enjoyed it. We got a lot of good revelations and I'm looking forward to the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I will see you in the next one.